Coming up on World's Wildest Venetian Police Chasers. Venice, Italy. Venice's finest pursue a three-foot-tall dwarf wearing a red coat. Las Vegas, Nevada. State troopers swoop on a cunningly constructed replica of Venice built to dupe the tourists. But first, a routine stop and search on a Campo di Agliti del Nostro turns into a deadly high-speed pursuit when the gondolier turns out to be a highly dangerous and wanted biscuit smuggler. At first, nothing seems out of the ordinary, but when the suspect is asked to provide identification, he speeds off down the waterway, forcing the officers to take pursuit. But these lawmen aren't wet behind the ears. They can't catch him, much to the irrigation of the law. He recklessly endangers other canal users by turning corners too tightly. Watch again as another hapless gondolier loses his hat in the water. But he has another trick up his sleeves. The felon ignores the one-way system and crosses the Grand Canal's central divide and flees from the cops straight into the path of oncoming traffic. A head-on collision now would be the equivalent of hitting a brick wall at 10 kilometers an hour. But still, he doesn't stop. You better believe it. Watch again as he clips the side of this sightseeing boat, sending sparks flying. He's now punting with only half a pole, but shows no sign of slowing down. This guy's a lagunatic. The cops call in reinforcements, and soon they're trying to pin him in using a rolling roadblock maneuver. But he sees the trap, and escapes into a narrow one-way system beneath the Bridge of Sighs. At last, the cops have some luck as he is forced to stop at a junction by a passing water bus. He tries to make a wait for it. It's now or never. Officer Antonio Bernardini fearlessly leaps into a criminal's gondola and dispenses some extreme justice. The judge will be sending this criminal downstream for a long time. He's gondola, but not forgotten. Everything you've seen here is true. You're watching the world's wildest Venetian police chasers.